Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create movie poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description, download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed PST file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, open the PSD file called poster. This one is a design ready file, you can straight away start designing it. Now we are going to create background, for that we are going to bring in our background images. First go to the folder you downloaded, open image 1 inside photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Enable free transform tool Control T and resize the image. Okay, I'll settle with this one. Okay, next we are going to bring in London Tower image. Go to the folder you downloaded, open image 2 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image instead of canvas. Again, I'm going to resize the image by enabling free transform tool. Fine, next I'm going to add layer mask to this tower image. Go to color picker, select black color, enable brush tool, select soft round brush. Okay, I'm going to erase the parts I don't want. Okay, next we're going to bring in our cloud image. Go to the folder you downloaded. Open image 3 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside of canvas. Place the image right below the tower layer. Okay, I'm going to enable free transform tool. I'll reduce the size a little bit. I'll settle with this one. Okay, this one is fine. Okay, next we're going to reduce the brightness of that tower image. For that, select the tower image. Go to adjustment layer, create brightness contrast layer. Click this icon and clip mask this one. Okay, I'm going to increase the brightness. Sorry, reduce the brightness down to minus 66% and contrast to minus 22. Okay. Next, we are going to add a color lookup layer. Create a color lookup layer. Change option to horror blue. Fine, I'll reduce the opacity down to 66% so that we'll get a cinematic blue green effect. Next, we're going to bring in another stock image. Go to the folder you downloaded, open the lightning strike image inside Photoshop, drag and drop it inside of a canvas. Okay, make sure place this image right below above the tower image. I mean below the color lookup layer. Okay, I'll place it at the left side. I'll change the blending mode as screen. Okay, next I'm going to create a duplicate copy by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J, enable free transform tool, right click, I'll flip horizontal, give a slight rotation, I'll reduce the size a little bit and I'll place it here. Fine. Now we are done with our background images. Next we are going to bring in our model image. Go to the folder you downloaded, open image file inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. You don't need to worry about the model image. Already the image is neatly cropped. Okay, I'll place the image above the above all other layers. Okay. Place it at the center. Next, we are going to add few adjustment layers to our model image to get that blue-green effect. Okay, first let's start with brightness contrast layer. Make sure to clip match the layer. Okay. I'll increase the brightness to 59, contrast to minus 39. Okay, next add curves adjustment layer. Again, clip mask this one, select red. Bring down the middle part down below, like so. Okay, 
next select blue pull the curve up above the middle bar little bit like so fine next we are going to add channel mixer adjustment layer again clip match this one select red reduce it to reduce the first option to plus 90 okay keep the constant as 2 okay now we will get a blue green kind of effect okay next we are going to add night effect to our poster for that we are going to do a simple trick like create a layer go to color picker select black color and fill the color I am using keyboard shortcut alt backspace to fill the color now reduce the opacity down to 0 right click blending option select gradient overlay there select second option foreground to transparent okay now select the top left one and bring down the location down to 30 percent okay now click ok make sure the reverse option is disabled okay now you will get a night effect like so okay now click ok next we are going to add movie title for that create a layer let's go to color picker select white color select the font you want Next, we are going to add a minimal effect to our text for that. Select the text layer, right click, blending option, go to color overlay, select the first option. On the left side, go with white color, sorry, white color. On the right hand, select some kind of gray color. Make sure the reverse option is enabled. You will get such kind of minimal text effect. Click OK. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy. Control J. Edit this one as lady. I'll reduce the size. Next, create another duplicate copy. Next, I'm going to add lines to our text for that create a layer select line tool make sure the weight is 4 pixels and create a line on both sides i'll create a duplicate copy ctrl j i'll create another line down below Fine, now we are done with the text part. Next, we are going to add few effects to our poster. Okay, now let's start by creating a curves layer. Select RGB. Now I'm going to bring down the curve a little bit to get a blue green kind of effect. Next, create a gradient map layer. Select the fifth option orange violet. Click OK. Change the blending mode as soft light. Reduce the opacity down to 30%. Okay. Now we are almost done with our poster design. We are going to bring in a one final stock image inside our canvas. Now go to the folder you downloaded, open image 6 inside Photoshop. Okay, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now make sure the final image is placed light above the tower layer okay i'll place it here above the tower image okay now enable free transform tool ctrl t and resize the image a little bit now i'm going to change the blending mode as screen so that those black parts will turn invisible Okay, next I'm going to select erase it tool. Make sure the flow is 50% and I'm going to erase the parts I don't want. Fine, so we are almost done. As a final effect, I think the poster looks a little bit darker. So let's increase the brightness a little bit. Create a brightness contrast layer, increase the brightness. 
click OK. So yes, our poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more Photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.